Sometimes we take our teachers for granted. We forget about the time they take outside of the classroom to help further our success and how much they truly care for us. So to give recognition for all that our teachers do, let's find out what inspired them to start this career. The thing that inspired me to become a teacher was actually a teacher. Um, in my high school, I had a few teachers that inspired me to be better all the time, and I wanted to show that to my students whenever I became a teacher also. I became a teacher because um, my dad was a college football coach, and I <laughs> saw the uh, relationships he built with his players and his students uh, in college, and I really admired that. Um, and even 20, 30 years later, he still has players and, and students who contact him and uh, he made a real difference in their lives. So that's, that's why I wanted to become a teacher so I could do the same for, for students at Grain Valley High School. What inspired me to be a teacher? My mom's been teaching now for 39 years, so when I was a little girl she was a second grade teacher and I wanted to be just like my mom. I helped her do bulletin boards and grade papers and everything, but as I grew older it was just about being able to make a difference um, and touch somebody's life and inspire their future, um, and it's been really rewarding. So one thing that I do outside of teaching is um, I'm the varsity girls soccer coach. I put a lot of time into our season in the spring um, so that we can have a meaningful season with the girls. Okay, some of the stuff I do outside of the school day that not a lot of people realize um, would be I help a lot of former students. I'm a huge fan of editing. It sounds really weird, probably especially to you students. But I love when I get essays from former students that are in college or that are taking college level courses and I go through and review them, review those for them and then send them back. Um, I coach cheerleading, which I love. And here we've got a great program that really supports me and makes it really easy to love the job that I do. With my yearbook classes, we have a lot of deadline sessions. They may not like them very much, but we come in after school and we edit all of your photos and we edit all those pages so they look really cool. Um, that's just a couple of the things that I do. Um, outside of school, I worry a lot about you all, all of my students. I worry about the motivation you have. I worry about where you're going to go after school. I worry about what you do outside of school. Um, that worrying probably has given me all this gray in my beard and my hair there, because I am only 29. So other things that I do outside of my teaching responsibilities at Grand Valley High School include coaching the Scholar Bowl team. Uh, I am the head coach for that and have been for the seven years that I've been at Grand Valley. And I also do the PA announcing for most varsity sports that we have uh, here at Grand Valley High School for both fall, winter, and spring seasons. And I think all of that plays into what I like most about teaching or why I, I love what I do or why I think that this is important is because it provides so many different opportunities to, to make a difference with youth, with those who are you know, going to be the ones who will eventually become the teachers for our kids and for future generations and for those who are going to be the ones that are running this country and running this world someday that to just be able to be in a position to teach somebody something new, to be able to make a difference, to be there for somebody, to if it's just listening to somebody's concern or listening to somebody's problems, if it's you know helping them to learn something, if it's simply just being a mentor or trying to lead by example or just showing people that hey the way I do things and the way that I am just being okay with who you are just letting other people see through how I do things that it's okay to be you and that everybody has special talents and abilities and gifts that can make a difference in the world and that's truly what I want my students to see. In closing I'd like to personally thank each teacher that has inspired me to become a teacher as well. I realize the extra time and effort you take outside of the classroom is purely from your good intentions and I hope one day like you I can make a positive impact on my own students lives.